Hey everyone, it's Jerry here, and today I'm giving you guys the last tutorial on Bloody Roar Extreme, hopefully. So keep in mind with this tutorial video that this video is for the new Dolphin build. It's not for all Dolphin. The tutorial video I did from two years ago and the one that I did this year in 2022 on March 2nd are for Dolphin 5.0321 SL or just 5.0321. So these videos only apply to the old Dolphin. So keep that in mind. This video is for new Dolphin. Now let's continue. So the first thing you want to do is download the latest version of Dolphin, not the beta version, the dev version. The second thing you want to do is download Bloody Roar Extreme itself. After you have downloaded Dolphin, you want to go to graphics and make sure that skip EFB access from CPU is selected. Now the next thing that you want to do, now let me just do this just to prove my point even more. When you download Dolphin, you're not going to see anything. Double click, select the folder that the game was put into after you've extracted the zip file that is select folder it should appear then and if you want to you can also move the game to a different folder for example if you have a folder with other GameCube games you could just put it there and well it's not there anymore so we gotta double click go to desktop select the folder and there it is so just make sure that your game is in its respective folder otherwise it won't appear at all so to add everything, you want to right click Bloody Roar Extreme, click Properties, go to Action Replay Codes because that's what we're going to start with. We want all the characters, so let's copy, unlock all characters in extra modes, click Add New Code, paste the name, or type it, whatever you want to do, copy the code, paste the code, wait, what? That was weird. Whoa, okay, there we go. Alright, copy the code, excuse me, I don't know why that happened, I guess I click control C instead of control I mean control V instead of control C or whatever anyway so we're gonna do the same thing for widescreen enable widescreen also you can name these anything uh, it doesn't have to be the name for whatever you're adding to the game however for the sake of context this is important so yeah enable widescreen so you're basically doing the same thing now we're gonna do the debug mode both the debug mode itself and its pause menu because it's pause menu is not the same as the normal games pause menu so honestly it's best if you just copy the code first and then just give it a name afterwards because it saves time I don't know why I didn't do that at first uh, debug 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 oh my gosh debug pause doesn't matter if it's not spaced or not and then copy the code and paste it in now you have all the characters, you have widescreen, and you have the debug mode. I have a separate video on debug mode, which I will put in the description, so don't worry about debug mode for now. So just check these off for the sake of online, because that's what this video is for. So the next thing you want to go to is Gecko Codes. Now for Gecko Codes, um, it looks a little more complicated, but trust me, it's not. Just name it Mirror Fang or Fang Mirror Matches or whatever you want to name it. This is so that two people could play as Fang since he doesn't have two costumes in the game, unfortunately, which means only one person can play him on the actual game. But with this Gecko code, we can actually have two people play the, play the same character, despite him not having two skins, which I will show off in a bit. So after you have this, just save it, close it, boot the game up, and then everything should be good. I'm getting hit up on Discord, and I think I know who it's from. I will get back to them very shortly. On this Dolphin build, you can actually see the Hudson Soft video and the opening itself, but compared to the old Dolphin, but that's not the focus of this video. So, to make sure that you have all the characters, just find Uranus, just go by one, two, three slots, and she should be right there. If you have her, then you have everyone. Now, you might think you might not have Fang because he doesn't have his own character slot. Uh, and you're right, he doesn't. However, if you click, not click, if you press the costume button one, two times, then he'll appear. He's Yugo's counterpart from the Bloody Roar manga. He is not an evil counterpart. He's not evil Yugo. Like, people have been misinformed. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, two people can select him. Normally, it would say already selected or player one selected. Or it would just say selected. So, two people won't be able to play as him. Uh, you want to click start on any stage. And what will come out is a lighter toned Yugo. Uh, since Fang doesn't have two skins, unfortunately. So, this is Fang's Rekka. This is Fang's Axe Kick. Now, even though that is literally Yugo um, over there on the other side, he does have Fang's moveset, so it is still Fang. So, there's the Rekka. 
and here's the axe kick and yeah so two people could play as fang now what's interesting is that this actually won't happen online um you'll actually see two fangs but locally you'll see this yugo and then you'll see the real fang that i'm playing as right now so yeah now you have everything uh once again i have a debug mode video separately uh, on my channel so just go watch that for the debug mode stuff but in terms of online all that is what you should have done that's how your game should look well minus the texture mods and you should be good to go so just make sure that unlock all characters and extra modes is checked make sure enable widescreen is checked and make sure that the fang mirror matches is, ch is checked and then you're good to go so yeah thank you all for watching i'll catch you guys in the next upload whenever if ever appreciate y'all as always peace